What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. Today we're doing a class guide on the newly released Matt Damien class. Didn't know the Born Identity was uh, in a uh, adventure quest, but uh, we'll be reviewing this class and uh, playing with it, showing it, comparing it to its number one enemy blaze binder. Let's get the video in three, two, one, go! This way All right, so first things first, how do you get the class? Well, to get the class, you want to go to Bacon Cat slash join Bacon Cat. You don't have to be rank 10. I had this confirmed on stream. Actually, I didn't have it. I haven't confirmed it myself, but people on stream said you don't have to be rank 10. So you just equip a nice ass sword and then you open the shop. You don't have to equip a nice ass sword. That's just, that's just something I did for the video to show off this awesome sword. Um, and right in here, you can get the class for member only for 200,000 gold or for 2,000 ACUs if you're a non-member. So it is a uh, paid for only class, so you can't just get it for free, but it's available at slash join bacon cat for anyone that wants to get it. All right, let's go over skills first. So we have brainwave, a wave of physic fire and gulfs up to three foes dealing moderate damage and applying either mental burn or physic burn. Mental burn does deal less damage per tick, but lasts 12 seconds. Physic burn deals more damage but tick only but the tick only lasts six seconds they don't stack but you can have both applied at the same time so i don't know what they don't stack but you can have both applied means uh but yeah you can have both those and that is your two skill this skill right here so all right so the second skill is mass effect heals up to four allies including yourself and places one of five random buffs on them so the first buff is superhero increasing strength and intellect by 20% for 20 seconds. The second buff is invincible strong heal over time for 15 seconds. The third is fountain of youth, youth, yeah, moderate heal over time for 15 seconds. Uh, the, the last one is dumb lucky, reducing damage taken and luck by 10% for 10 seconds. So I, I think it reduces your luck by 10%. Or increases it and then actually that is the last one because we got forever alone increasing your mana cost by 10% and reducing endurance by 10% for 10 seconds so that forever alone will get you killed more often than not in PvP uh, this class is not very good for PvP um, so yeah it also does negative 300% uh, on a heal uh, players full amount and everyone else half heals self full amount if hot monster is selected I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing that means that it takes like 300% of your health away or something like that. It's kind of kind of confusing what these uh, buffs do, but I just know that the Mass Effect, uh, which is your third skill right here, it just gives you a random buff and it heals you basically. That's all you need to know about the skill. It's overly complicated for no good reason. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, so this one is actually really good. It's called Shattered Reality, a powerful physic burst AoE, which can hit up to two foes, applies mental weakness, reducing their damage by 40% for five seconds. This is a very good skill if you're farming a boss or something like that. Although I haven't tried boss farming with this class, I'm gonna say it's not gonna be that good, but I'll, we'll go into boss farming later in this episode. Uh, so it has a 10 second cooldown. It does 150%. Uh, spell damage and you're doing a lot of damage with a aoe burst for that skill it's really really decent bill which is also supposed to be your best i'm guessing uh deals solid physical damage up to three targets and reduces your enemy's haste by 30 percent while increasing yours by 30 percent for 10 seconds so you reduce their haste you increase yours so you have a higher dodge chance i think haste is dodge uh someone told me that dodge chance is Okay, so I think dodge chance is dodge, and haste is like your hit chance. So, but if you're reducing your hit, their hit chance, you just have a higher chance of dodging. So it's basically just like you have a thirty percent higher chance of hitting them, and they have a thirty percent uh, higher chance of not hitting you. So very good skill, and it also does two hundred seventy-five percent spell damage on that mind blown. Uh, that's uh, two hundred seventy percent of your auto attack. So that's that skill. It has a twenty-five second cooldown and a thirty mana cost, so it's pretty expensive is also your last skill all right so for passives on the class we have rank four two of course uh increasing your crit by eight percent and your intellect by 15 so this is definitely a mage en enhanced class uh in this video i'll be using full mage on both this and the classes i use to compare to this 
So yeah, we're definitely using full mage. And last but not least, we have a rank 10 passive. This one has a sort of a unique passive. I don't think I've seen this on a lot of other classes. A small chance of greatly increasing the power of an AOE ability. So I'm guessing that highly, that, that increases the damage. I, I've used this class for quite a bit. And what I think is it has 200% damage or an extra like doubles your damage is what it does. So I think that's what it does. That's speculation though. So nothing's confirmed. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the damage of the class uh, and just like how to use it. So I'm using 167, 167 stable, uh, which is unarmed, which is member only in the member shop in Battle On if you want to get that if you're a member. So let's I show you off how this works. So we have two here. Uh, you can, of course, hit up to four with your first skill. So showing this, uh, the damage you do, you do the same damage to every mob. So it's not like at the one you click on, you do the most. Uh, I think Shaman is like that, or there's certain classes like that, but you do the same damage to everything. So I hit two. So it is random whether or not you get a critical like that, and it will apply also a dot. So you're hitting two guys and doing a dot. So they don't have a lot of health, but you can tell that you would do a lot of damage in just a normal scenario like this. So then for the second, third skill, of course, you got your heal. I already went over all these skills. I don't know why I'm slaying them again. And then this one will hit up to two. So here's how I use that in combat. So did 2k to that guy. Just insta killed him. And yeah, these are level 10s. So probably not a good mob to compare to. I'm trying to find maps that aren't pirates. If you have any maps uh, that aren't pirates that you would like to suggest, uh, please leave that in the comments down below. And I will definitely use that for the next class guide. Let's go pirates. Okay, so if I showed you how to use it, uh, I'll do a little review of it right now. I think that this class is on point with Blaze. I will show a comparison of Blaze and this class at the very end of the video if you want to stick to the end and see a side by side. If I can do side by side, I'll either do it uh, one and then one. I'll do like this, that, and that, or I'll do a side by side in the editing software. I'll see what I can do. I really suck at editing videos, let's be honest here. But. Um, my review is, it's as good as Blaze. It is member only and AC only, so it, Blaze is non mem so that has an advantage there. And it is really good at farming, so how I use it when I'm farming is I just basically spam 2 and 2 and 4. And then sometimes apply the 5 and you just do an insane amount of damage. I stay away from the heal unless I need it because it can debuff you, uh, as well as buff you. The audio attacks are okay, uh, the audios are okay, but... They're not your main source of damage like they are on like a class like Abyssal Angel, but you're doing a good 500. And uh, with the the max intellect on this character, you crit a lot. Uh, crits based on your intellect. I'm pretty sure on this character, not your luck. Uh, like most, like all the new classes in the game, uh, where they don't want you using luck as much as they once did. Or luck used to be a lot more overpowered. So as you see, I just used the heal skill and it didn't even heal me. So I just stay away from that skill unless you really need it. And then use it about two times in a row. And just normal farming, it's really, really easy just to not use that and just reheal from just normal heat, uh, health regen from in game. Alright, on to the boss fighting. So, I haven't actually tried this yet. This is actually a first for me. I probably should have done this. I am reviewing the class. I mean, I've only used this class for farming. I did get the rank 10, so I farm quite a bit with it. As you can tell, because you need to farm a lot with it to get the rank 10. And it, it's really good at farming. Let's see how it does against this boss. So let's apply that heal. I don't think this, this isn't that hard of a boss. I should probably be doing Blood Titan or something, but uh, everyone does this. So you can see the damage I'm doing to the boss is pretty significant. I mean, we're doing work. I want a Stone Crusher buff on this. Because if you could Stone Crusher buff, like if I had a Stone Crusher in this room and we got that buff, this class would be doing insane amounts of damage along with the Stone Crusher because of the three buff. So if you're by yourself, I would stay away from the three. But when you're a group of friends, it's okay. Uh, I mean, you can debuff them, but uh, yeah, it's not going to be a good idea most of the time to debuff. But uh, there's only a 1 in 5 chance you get a debuff, so you don't really need to worry about that too much. All the other 4s are uh, good or semi-good things that can happen. So we are melting him pretty fast. I mean, he's only level 45, so he doesn't have that much uh, damage resistance against our attacks. It does have a very good heal on it when you need it but most of the time you won't need it unless you're doing something like this so there you go that's that's how quickly you can defeat a boss let's go over to blood titan check him out uh that blood titan can actually do damage this guy can't so let's go see blood titan all right so this is a boss fight that's actually worth showing on uh 
on a video. Here's Blood Titan, and let's see how fast we can kill him. So I don't even know, honestly, if I'll stay alive this whole time. Blood Titan's a pretty hard boss. Usually you want a team of people. I mean, Ultra Blood Titan's hard, but this guy isn't really that hard. That's my sub alert. Um, I forgot to close that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's from the stream. So I saw that open. I'm recording this after I did the stream uh, where we farmed the rep and all that stuff for this class or the class points for the class. And that's still open. So someone's just subscribed. Thank you, every subscribed. You probably know who you are. I don't, maybe not. That is Diva from Overwatch. So it seems like we're staying alive here. Uh, you do run out of mana in more strenuous situations like this. I recommend refraining from using your last two skills and just healing and doing your two. Or maybe just using your heal in your three or your four or five. I don't know. But as you can see, I'm, I'm probably going to stay alive unless RNG really hates me <laughs> for a little bit. So it does have a little bit of survivability. Um, as far as this class in PvP goes, I would not PvP with this class. I tried a few times on stream. And I think I won one out of like six. So And I'm okay at PvP. Like a lot of people say I'm bad, but I'm okay. Like. And I think that one I won, I think I wasn't even leveled my level, so it's not the best that PvP like Blazebinder is, but yeah. So let's go to a conclusion. Okay, in conclusion, is the class worth your time? Yeah, it is. Um, is this because Blazebinder? In certain situations, it can be. Um, it's kind of like a Shaman where it does more damage, but uh, Blazebinder has a lot better mana regeneration and management, and it can, uh, I think, do a similar to, if not more, damage. Uh, but this one might do more damage. I don't know. I'll do a side-by-side -side damage comparison at the very end if you keep watching till the very end. Uh, so definitely watch till the end. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. That's the end of the video. I would recommend this if you have a membership to get it uh, because it's just gold if you're a member. If for ACs and you have already have Blaze Binder, I can't see a use where this would help you out rather than just having it for uh, for just bragging purposes, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you want to know what the class art looks like, <laughs> like I don't like the class art so I didn't show it at all in this video, but that's what it looks like uh, Skin color custom and I, I don't think anything else is color custom except for the skin on it. So yeah That's the video guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys all in the next one Peace. I'll oh, remember to leave a comment on that map name of where I can find mobs that aren't pirates. Thanks Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one Oh wow, you made it to the end of the video. So, uh, if you use the word pink, the most creative use of the word pink in the comments section down below, I will tweet out. So, be creative, and tomorrow at around the evening time, I will tweet out a comment with the word pink in it in my comment section. So, um, we're going to compare the damage of the two classes right now. So here is the new Damien class. So just gonna use the first skill and the fifth skill. Boom, we just instant killed all those guys super quick. Now if we swap over to Blaze Miner, wait for all of them to respawn. So we use the first skill and the last skill. And then the first skill again, and they die a little slower. I'll swap back to so it's the exact same chance. Like they both have full mage. Full whiz, I mean not mage. Same weapon. So we use the first skill. And the last skill. And boom, they're all dead. Except for one uh, which still has a thousand health for some reason. Pop the first skill on him and the fourth skill and he's dead. So it's kind of the, the, you can see they're so similar. Okay, let's do uh Blaze Miner again. So like on the blaze binder, the the one didn't die very fast, and then on this one, the one didn't die very fast. Let's see if we can get one hit with blaze. So blaze, people tell me use the three first, of course. So we use the three, the two, and the five. Got that one dead and the two dead. So it doesn't seem like we can uh, just give them the whole wombo combo uh, to all of them. <laughs> That's cringy as fuck what I just did there. But let's not let's not acknowledge the cringe. Uh, but you can also do about the same damage with Blaze. So you can take from this what you will. I say they're about on par. Maybe maybe Damien's a little better. 
Uh, what am I going to be using for my primary farming class? Probably Damien, just because it's new. Uh, but uh, a month from now, what am I going to be using? Probably... I don't know. I'll have to go on longer farming sessions with both the classes before I real uh, before I pick one of my favorites. But to me, they're they're about level right now as far as classes go. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to use the comment with the word "pink." The most creative one will be tweeted out on my Twitter page. If you're not following me on Twitter, you can do that. The link is in the description. We probably already follow. We're almost at a thousand followers on Twitter, which is crazy. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.